Alright, this is the second video of the 1974 Seafair 29. Um, did some changes. I got a 20-foot uh, uh, like backhoe skid steer trailer compared to the 12-foot uh, utility uh, trailer that I had. Um, also, I had to sling it off of the, uh, the uh, trailer. And I built this contraption's uh, 16 by 6 by 6 uh, posts cemented into the ground. Um, cross braced. Uh, it was slung by uh, two straps in the front, two straps in the back, and uh, it was a chain that held, held it onto the uh, uh, onto the poles and under, slung underneath the boat from underneath. Worked just perfect. Um, pretty, not too bad for a uh, 4,400 pound boat. Alright, you get to see some of the little setup I got here. Um, the wood blocks are going to be uh, changed out that we're going to weld uh, um, of supports for the bottom, front and back. I uh, just utilized the uh, the uh, Northern Hydraulic uh, house jacks um, from the old trailer. Uh, had someone weld the uh, bottom just to keep it uh, uh, stable. All right, still the jo 1957 Johnson. Uh, 18 horsepower outboard. Uh, not too bad. Makes it nice and easy to work on uh, the bottom of the boat. You can lie down and scrape the hull. That gives you a little bit more uh, view. And also, this is a better view of the keel that's missing. You can see the pin for the keel. Uh, that's got to be fixed. It's moving. So evidently, when this thing lost its keel, it got damaged. So that's something that's going to be worked on. Oh, oh, another thing. I've got a mast. And sails came off of a uh, J24. Um, mast is uh, 28 feet 7 inches, the exact length of the boat. It's a little small. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not, but for right now, I'm just give me a good idea to have something. Picked that one up for $500. Uh, this is still the uh, $250 boat. Um, it's uh, coming along pretty nice. Scraped the bottom, got all the uh, anti foul off and we'll go up on deck here whatever still looking for a steering wheel I'm looking about a 20 to 18 inch um, stainless steel steering wheel You can get you a little better set up on the, uh, how that was done. I just got a, uh, hinges there and also on top, you can see the bolt that holds it, holds the chain in place. So, cross braced, worked perfect. Alright, inside, there's going to be some, uh, changes that were made. I took all the old faux finish out, uh, the wood. Um, I want to put real wood, hardwood in here. Um, right now it's been gutted out pretty much. Um, gonna have a sliding galley like a McGregor 26 that slides back and forth. So this is gonna be cut out right here. What I'm gonna do is put you know, real wood, hardwood here. And it's gonna be cut right about here or a wall put right about here. I'm going to put the sink over here, get rid of this sink, move this toilet over, put like a little shower head right here so you can take a shower and also uh, get cleaned up if you're doing long sales. Um, you now with the uh, tables and uh, everything's going to be stay the same. I said that the galley is going to slide back and forth. Uh, one weakness that I 
did notice on the boat is the uh, chain plate brackets. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, um, uh, the chain plates on the outer side, like outside the hull right here. And with this uh, hardwood, uh, real wood, I'm going to actually have it braced with the hardwood running the whole inside of the length of the boat from here on out. Uh, give it a whole lot better strength. That, to me, that's very weak. That's going to break any kind of, you know, if you're going out to the Bahamas or anything, you get a uh, hellacious storm, it's just going to rip the plates right out. Same thing with here. That's why I'm going to make the uh, bathroom bigger and put the wood right here and then connect the chain plates to it. But, like I said, the galley's going to slide on underneath here. I'm going to have a uh, nav station right here. Um, now, another modification I'm going to do. Uh, this is where the swing keel um, winch would go. What I'm going to do is going to put an electric winch right here with a backup crank in case it, it fails. And I will just keep it out of the way from people tripping over it and never will like that. Well, it's going to be a good little addition the modification I'm going to do. Of course, back. See all the steering for the rudder. It's been taken out. I took the rudder out. Uh, it's going to need repair for sure. The deck seems solid. The only thing, other thing I got to do here is we got really soft floor right here. So I'm going to cut all that out and put some good hardwood, real hardwood, in there. Hopefully solid uh, boards and uh, make it sturdy. Other than that, seems to be doing pretty good. It's coming right along. It's going to be a nice project. It's going to take a lot of money, but it's going to be well worth it in the end. Just picturing this sailing to the Bahamas, enjoying myself. I love it.